Who is the woman in Genesis 3.15? Let's do a little exercise in logic to find out. If A equals B and B equals C, then A must equal C. We don't have to be told that A equals C. It is enough that we know that A equals B and B equals C to come to the conclusion that A equals C. Nor is this simply an opinion. If A equals B and B equals C, then A must equal C, no other option. Let's apply this logic to a verse in the Bible, Genesis 3.15. This is after Adam and Eve ate the fruit and God is handing out punishments. This punishment is for the serpent or Satan. The text reads, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and thy seed and her seed. Most modern translations render it, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. It is generally accepted by Christians universally that the offspring of the woman is Jesus. This is a prophecy about the coming Redeemer. Well, if the offspring of the woman is Jesus and Jesus is the offspring of Mary, then the woman in Genesis 3.15 must be the Virgin Mary. Now many people will say that it's Eve, but Eve got her name from Adam immediately after the punishments were handed out. Genesis 3.20 The man gave his wife the name Eve because she was the mother of all the living. She was not called Eve before the fall, she was called woman. But Eve ceased being the woman in favor of Mary, just like Adam ceased being the man in favor of Jesus. The early church fathers, as early as the second century, wrote of Mary as the new Eve, just like Jesus is the new Adam. Notice it's the woman in Genesis 3.15 that has the enemy relationship with the serpent or Satan, not the offspring. That's because Mary is the nemesis of Satan, not Jesus. This doesn't make her more powerful than Jesus. Jesus has all power and authority, and Mary is a mere human being completely dependent on her son. It means Mary and Satan hate each other. But Mary's pleadings before her divine son are irresistible to him. So if you want to defeat Satan in your life, ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to pray for you. Mary appeared to St. Dominic in the 12th century and revealed the best way to ask her for her prayers, and that's by praying the rosary. But why? Why does she have to get involved? I think the answer to that question lies in the beginning of the verse. And God said, quote, I will. This is how God wants it. If you don't like it, take it up with him.